We are back tonight with our in-depth report tonight on health and the environment. There's been a concerted effort in recent years, as you know, to cut air pollution. There's evidence now that it's paying off. A new study shows what should be obvious but hasn't always been a priority in America. Breathing cleaner air makes people live longer. More tonight from our chief environmental affairs correspondent, Ann Thompson. Take a deep breath, America. The air is cleaner, and that's helping you live longer. A new study in today's New England Journal of Medicine says life expectancy increased 2.7 years since the late 70s. Five months of that jump attributed to decreased air pollution, reducing the amount of very fine particles spewed from tailpipes and smokestacks that are so small they can get past the body's natural filters and do harm. It indicates that our public policy efforts to control air pollution are paying off. The study looked at 51 cities across the country. Some with the worst reputations for pollution are breathing easier and living longer. Cleaner air increased life expectancy in Pittsburgh and Buffalo by 10 months, eight and a half months in El Paso. Even cities with cleaner air to start with saw modest increases. Tampa up a month, Denver a little less than a month. None of the 51 cities saw a decrease in life expectancy. The good news does not mean the work to clean up our air is over. The study's authors say there is plenty more to be done because those fine particles that remain still can damage your heart and lungs. Environmentalists called the study significant, saying it only adds to the argument for investing in clean energy. Clean energy means avoiding the combustion of fossil fuels, and that will reduce both greenhouse gas emissions and the emissions of fine particles, other toxics that make air pollution worse today. Proving that when it comes to air pollution and health, less is truly more. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York.